everyone. Welcome to the 500 subscriber celebration for my friend Nancy the Handy Scandy. I have the link to the hashtag in the description box below. There are Instagram participants as well as YouTube participants. In order to claim a prize, you do need to leave a comment on each of the participants' projects. I obviously am doing both YouTube and I will be doing an Instagram post as well. The winners will be chosen from those comment sections, and there are a ton of prizes. Nancy's offering three prizes. Lisa Mensing is offering a prize on her channel, and there are a couple more that I will mention shortly. Here's a look at the card that inspired me today. We were charged to case a card from Nancy. I absolutely love all of her projects, but Nancy is a rainbow girl, so I went with the rainbow card. Here's a look at my interpretation of her card, and let's jump into the products that I'm using. From Pink Fresh Studio, I have the Pop Out Folk Christmas. This has several pieces that pop out, and you can use them individually, or you can use it as a whole stamp. I'm using the Pretty Frames die, that's big wide die, that cuts out several different layers that you can tear apart or keep together. From the Greetery, the Sentiment Sweet Basics, I'm just using that die. I'll be using some Pastel Distress inks in Sponge Sugar, Dried Marigold, Squeeze Lemonade, Crack Pistachio, Tumble Glass, and Dusty Concord, as well as some Brutus Monroe Alabaster White Embossing Powder. I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card right here, card panel, and I am placing it on my red rubber stamp. Because this is a red rubber stamp, I did remove the foam in my Misty. I've added some tape to the back of this and that is going to allow me to adhere it to my Misty so that if I miss stamp or have any issues and need to stamp again, I can do just that and everything will be right in place. I did use some Versamark ink and I am going to add that alabaster white embossing powder over the front of this. I'm going to do some heating so that it melts this embossing powder. I did treat the paper with an anti-static tool prior to doing my stamping. Now we're going to get our rainbow on. If you saw Nancy's card, you saw that it was very bold and bright and just a yummy, yummy, yummy rainbow card. Mine is going to be a little bit more soft and subtle, so I chose to go with more pastel tones. Nancy went from corner to corner with her rainbow. I've decided to go landscape all the way across. As you could see, I did keep my stamp together, so I did not pop out any of the pieces. And I am just going to do a little bit of ink blending here. Casing cards is super fun. It's one of the reasons why we do YouTube and we do Instagram and other social media platforms, and that is to inspire. You can take a card and you don't have to copy it. You can, but you don't have to copy it entirely, but you can make some changes to it. And that's what we're sharing today is Nancy has been so inspirational in the community. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, it's one of the requirements that she's asked for for this hop. Make sure that you head over to her channel and subscribe. You will love what she does. She is just a joyful person to listen to. Her voice is just so fun. Her videos are fun. Her enthusiasm. And she loves to do a lot of mixed media art. So she does some gel prints. She loves her stencils almost as much as she loves her kids, if you have watched her channel at all. And uh, I, yeah, I would just highly recommend, even if you're not interested in any of the three prizes that she's giving away, that you would subscribe to her channel because she has so much to offer over there. I'm going to reinforce some of these colors just to deepen them a little bit, and we're going to start working on our shaker card. One of the things that I appreciate about Nancy, she and I both have this, we share this in common, we tend to keep our faux pas in our videos so that people can learn from our mistakes. Here I've added some water to my panel, back to the card just uh, for a minute. 
just to give it a little bit more of that distressed look. As you saw, I did share part of the pretty frames and I'm using just this section right here. Here is faux pas number one. <laughs> I did cut my card panel back down to four and a quarter or four by five and a quarter and I put my foam tape on the back of it which wouldn't be a big deal except I was supposed to put my acetate down first. I was going to do two layers of the eighth inch foam tape anyway on this card. Unfortunately, my shaker pieces are going to move, but they're not going to move as much because I put my foam tape down before I put my acetate on. As you could see, I struggled a little bit because that frame is a little bit thin with the acetate and I had to do a little bit of maneuvering off camera to get it on straight, but there it is nice and straight. And now I'm adding my second layer of foam tape. So I should have put my acetate over the frame and then added two layers of foam tape and my shakety shake would have shook a lot better than it does. Now it does shake, it still, it still works, it just, uh, the pieces gather just a little bit more than I would want them to. I This foam tape isn't as thick as some of the other foam tape that I use. So I've used my anti-static tool all the way around the edges of that foam tape to make sure that these little cloud, they're iridescent clouds from Creations, uh, Crescent Creations are not going to stick to it. I'm going to remove my foam backing and then I'm going to realize after I get this release tape off that I am not good at centering cards this way. I typically make my shaker cards a little bit different so I thought you know what I better add some liquid glue to this foam tape so I have a little bit of wiggle room so I'm adding that liquid glue to the back of this and then I will center my card as I said uh, in order to hop along you will use the hashtag HandyScandy500. I'm also giving away this card. Nancy's asked that each participant give away the project that they're creating. So this card will be given away. I will choose somebody. I will have all of the information linked in the description box below for all of the prizes. This right here is a piece of paper tray ink, bitty big, four and a quarter by five and a half inch pattern paper. And as I said, I did cut that card panel down to four by five and a quarter. And I am going to center this on the card. Then I'm going to use some Catherine Pooler, or no, maybe I am going to use that cracked pistachio. I'll use the cracked pistachio distress oxide because you can stamp with that easily. I'm going to use that to stamp out my sentiment and then I will place that sentiment on the center portion of the frame of my card and that's going to be my card for today. So make sure that you do use that hashtag and stop at each participant's stop on Instagram and on YouTube. I want to thank you so much for join, joining us in celebrating our friend Nancy. Again, she's such a joy, such a fantastic creator, and we hope that you enjoy this hop because she wanted to do this for you. She really appreciates everyone who supports her on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So thank you, thank you, thank you if you came from Nancy's uh, channel and if you came from my channel I want to thank you again for supporting me. Here's a look at my final card. Until next time, have a fabulous day.